Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Third game. So that was regionals, right, Tim? Yeah, is this national now? This is now nationals. So regionals, SNHU, Penman are three and one at this point. Nationals, we are one and oh. No, those were both national. This is regional. No, this is regional? Yep. All right. Well, then. Never mind. That's wrong. <laughs> Actually, no. We're 0 and 1 in, in regional. Apologies. Correct. 0 and 1 in, in regional, 1 and 0 in side varsity, 3 and 1 in national. Correct. So, not bad for stats. Not bad for stats. Yeah, do know. Players is all taking a moment to utilize the restroom mm. here. I think we're going to see more uh, Zenyatta goats on Route 66. Thanks, so. Joe. Or some Ana goats to ensure that they can actually go and get that high ground at first point. Sure. All that control. If they control that gas station, it's really crazy. So, see what they want to do here. On Route 66, it is entirely payload related, so... It is. Entirely payload. They're going to be doing a lot of ensuring that they can actually be on this high ground on the 24-hour gas station there. Um, there is a nice little area to be able to go and sit into the corner, but it looks like uh, OC is going to be potentially doing watch for right now to go and see what's going on on the enemy team. Um, uh, he's up there. Oh, yeah. Lucio can get really high on this map. The the skybox is really up there. Hold on. Oh, no. <laughs> all right, here we go. Looks like they're all going to sit cave. They might be doing the cave strategy here. Here they come out. Quick push into them. Going straight at them. Not wanting to give them an inch. Really nice play. Good way to ensure Widowmaker dives can't jump on subway. you. Weezy pushing on the Widowmaker off subway. Oh yeah, absolutely, you know, and take care of the dive. Looks like the Diva's sitting him back. Venom, really high energy, taking out Goku on the Hanzo. Turtle just swinging over, hitting this. Ooh, Winston constantly. Really just making sure that they can't get any push. Turtle just going at it. Again, for the last yeah, match, they've decided weapons. that they're not going to give anybody any room. OC dead, however. They might need the huge ulti, but Klaus taking out Turtle. Oof. It's actually going out of their favor. So, it is nice. Weezy is making them have to go and sit on point. They didn't kill him in time. So they'll be able to actually get over to gas station pretty fast here now. They will have enough time to be able to go and sit back. They did see the Reinhardt was going up on high ground. So now they know. Looks like they're going to be setting up on high ground at this point. They're playing the that double sniper dive. Yes, they are. Here comes the rally, pushing in. Dave coming in with the, with the Winston ulti. Hammer getting it. One. We think they a kill on that Winston. Here comes Blank the Hanzo ulti. Not, not getting anybody. And they're able to push up because of the Hanzo ulti. Commando getting shielded. And they're just pushing fast into this team. They're not going to kill the Diva. They're going to make the Diva have to go and jump off herself. Get a couple extra seconds on that push. They do get the time to reset on top of this gas station. Like they're looking and forward. now they do. That is good. Oh, yeah. Like so we think Commander are going to sit on high ground. It looks like Turtle actually wants to go and sit at bottom, which is fine. 
Frag's gonna be sitting inside the top cave. Commando's hiding in cave, bottom cave. He's going to go in, get a little bit of recon going. Looks like they noticed that they do have the Reinhardt now. This. Here comes the nerf. And they shield the nerf. Venom, really high energy. Here comes Coalescence. And Turtle just swinging on in. Wheezy just doing a lot of damage on front of high ground. And here comes Manda with the... Oh, they're both popping Iris. Really just making sure that there's a stalemate going on at this point. A lot of both these used. Barrier destroyed on Dave. And they Get just pushed him back. Here, right? Yeah, give him a minute. Recharge shield. This is a really big stalemate. There were a lot of things going on there. No big kills. Oh, here comes Drunk Red Tire. Drunk Red Tire getting OC. Frag popping the uh, rally. Frag going in by himself, really just going and smacking people, which is fine. And there goes the ulti, throwing the nerf. Able to kill two. And now they're just cleaning up. This Zenyatta is hiding up top. They're not going to take care of him. Now they're going to try and clean up the Zen. Zen jumping down. Able to get the Zen in time. 30 seconds remaining. The Zen's going to come back at 20. Don't get the mech on the D.Va. Now we're looking at ulti advantage for SNHU Penman. Yep, looks like University of Connecticut has one last upstream here. They do, and they will be have it being close to Reinhardt. Oh, and they get one kill, 65. Dave might be able to go and come back with his own hammer. Hammer down from behind. And they aren't able to go and touch point. Beautiful hold from SNHU. They were able to do a lot of work to ensure that UConn really couldn't push that point for a solid minute. Initiating match. And even off of that corner, they just ensured that they were able to go and get those quick kills. Yep, curious to see what they bring out on attack. It's really nice on the SNHU Penman side as well. Uh, they actually ensured that every single time the Yukon team was actually using an ulti, they went Iris for Iris. They went Coalescence for Rally. And they really just ensured that no damage was dealt. And that stalemate happened, and Yukon decided to push back after that. So that gave them a lot of time to go and group back up. Ready for battle. And it looks like... SNHU Esports will be going for the GOATs again. And it looks like if this is really happening, it looks like Yukon's going for the Bastion Strat. Bastion Symmetra. Bastion Symmetra. Let's teleport some Bastion. It's going to be great to go and see what SNHU does when they actually go and notice that there is a Bastion in the play. And it looks like the Symmetra is setting up the car wash on top of bridge. SNHU unsure of what they have yet. Wheezy trying to go and peek. Wheezy now able to see. Notices that they have the Symmetra and the Bastion. Now it's time to see what they do. Mini missiles coming out. Bastion really rocketing in. Having to reload. Reloaded now. OC dying really fast. Now Bastion's teleported. Teleported behind them. Leave out a mech. Bottom. Weezy getting a quick kill on that Moira. Frag getting a quick kill on that Bastion. And Commando also taking out that D.Va. It's 3v3. Or 3v4. Commander getting another quick kill, and here comes the push. They were ready. Victory. GG's come out. SNHU Penman win first round. Map one complete. This must be the Wheezy double kill on, on defense. Nice. Yeah, on the other side of the shield there. Great. 82% kill participation with Frag. Beautiful, beautiful.
swapping up the teams. Got to make sure the spectator also gets swapped over. There we go. But yeah, all in all, it's just a really good fight. It really looked like that SNHU Padman really just wanted to go and make sure that they didn't get as much push as possible. They knew that if they stood on that point for at least a few seconds, that they'd be able to go and come back before they went and turned around that corner, which they did. They actually were able to go and hold that for a solid minute, almost minute and a half. Yeah, the fact that they were able to reset and get back up on top of the uh, top of the gas station held them off there. Absolutely. And really just going blow for blow, ulti for ulti, and just making sure that it's a full stalemate. Just wasting time and making you kind of have to go and sit there or regroup, which they did. They regrouped at the end of it and used a lot of ultis for it. Looks like both teams are ready for Hanamura, 2CP. And I think this is our first 2CP map. Yeah. Want to explain some 2CP, Tim? Sure. So to keep it here, I'm going to head over to the first one. Go above there. Now, this skybox is a little awkward. There's a couple yeah. of positions where the skybox is. wouldn't let me get over here. So. Um, this is the first control point right around this bell, this whole room right here. Pretty significant choke point. This door. Once the first control point is unlocked by the attacking team, they then travel back towards the temple here to a second control point back in this, back in this area. So, teams are going to need to control the first and then push for the second in order to get away. The one big thing with 2CP that a lot of teams will go and do is they will attempt to go and get a very fast play for the first point and then snowball into the second point, which will enable them to go and have ulti advantage and sort of get the other team off guard. So we should be able to go and see that happen pretty soon. Like SNHU is going with the standard Zen Goats and University of Connecticut taking Reaper May. Mm -hmm. Looks like uh, Yukon tried getting a quick fire strike, but they weren't able to get it in time. The door wasn't open yet. They've seen the May. Here they go with fast, fast movement. Oh, uh, OC almost getting killed. By going in Wheezy's favor. Wheezy being able to go in. Oh, and here they go. Able to just get some quick kills. Here it comes. Get those quick kills, capture the point, able to get that team kill. And Mando. now here it is. Mando is just defended, able to just pump out damage that whole fight. Absolutely. It really looked bad at first. OC was actually pinned by the Reinhardt, but some, but it looked like Frag was able to actually go and ensure that he didn't get pinned to the wall, which didn't create the kill. Then the Reinhardt was out of position. The Mei tried to go and help him out. To no avail, and they were able to just push in. Now, here comes the snowball. They're going to try and push in as fast as possible. It looks like they actually was able to go and push them off, and here it goes. So, Weezy's going to try and go and kill that Reinhardt. And it looks like Weezy is actually going to get on mech, too. A little bit out of position trying to get that Reinhardt there. Yeah. Now they have to go and reset. So, here's the big thing they were looking for that ulti advantage. They didn't have the ultis just yet, but they pushed in fast. Now, the big thing is, they have this May. This May can do a lot of work against this team, especially if they go down main. Yeah, you're gonna wall. need to coordinate the trance for, uh, for Blizzard. Uh-huh. Now they're going top right. The May's gonna try and go and wall off this point here to ensure that they don't get through. It looks like all, three, all six were able to get through. The May was a little preemptive, a little too early. Now they can just push through. There they go. On a popping ulti on the Reaper. Reaper not doing much. Nobody with the death two block. kills. Rally into the May ulti. Iris sure coming does. out just like... Still saving Turtle. And there's a beautiful ulti. Diva not getting much off of her ulti. 
No. Turtle's just swinging through. Yukon does have a very quick respawn point here, so they're going to be able to get on and contest. Here we go. They did get staggered really well, though, and there's the Ana kill. Now they just need to go and make sure this Reinhardt doesn't hold for too long. There it is. And now they need to make sure this Mei doesn't get on point. Beautiful. They did it. And there it goes. Here it is. Beautiful play. A lot of time on board. They're really leaning on the speed of goats in this game. Absolutely. Absolutely. As any penmen are starting to recognize that they are faster than this enemy team, they were able to go and make sure the Reaper didn't do too much. Right when they saw the Ana actually boosted or nano boosted the Reaper, they booped him away. Venom actually was able to go and pop his own personal shield, get a high energy, and really just lay down the damage to ensure that that Reaper wasn't able to do too much. Excellent play. They did miss on one team fight, but second team fight, they were able to prevail. Now let's go and see what Yukon can do. Ready for battle. SNHU looking to go and do the regular Zen Goats again. And it actually looks like the Yukon team is going to be doing standard goats. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. The Yukon standard goats here, this is what really brought goats into play. This is what brought goats into meta was the uh Moira inside of the Goats comp. There's a lot of healing coming through that team. Absolutely. Renyata definitely has the damage, uh, but Moira is able to keep everybody up all at once. Exactly. What they're going to be looking for is allowing the Moira to basically farm and then initiate with her coalescence. And they're going to push forward fast. So it's going to be great to see what Essenisha can do here. Here's the choke point. A lot of damage coming out. Dave a little less health than Turtle. Turtle getting healed full. Dave getting healed full. Weezy getting a quick kill on that Zarya. And now they're pushing forward. Now they're pushing forward. Looks like they're trying to get that debout of mech first. Magic Turtle able to go and kill Dave with the Fire Strike. And they're still pushing in. Now they pop the rally. Now they want kills. They're able to get the diva out, out of mech. Not going to go for the diva kill though. They're going to allow her to survive for a little bit longer. Get those few seconds. Amora was now, able to farm Coalesce in that fight. So they're going to look to engage off of that. Exactly. We're going to see the big engage now. Dave is going to go and have his Rhine ulti. He's going to have the hammer down. But Turtle does have ulti advantage. If he can go and notice when they pop Coalescence and understand what they're looking for, he may be able to finish it. Here it goes. Blocks one from the hammer. There's a nerf. A little too far to the right. It didn't go through the door. But a lot of ulties used. And now they're able to just push them back. And there's a huge ulti from Turtle. But no kills. Here comes that stalemate again. Venom getting a quick kill. There we go. Commando getting the kill. And now they're able to clean up. Here they go. Pushing them back. Pushing them back. Ensuring that the Moira doesn't get too much. But it looks like the Moira actually will go and have an ulti for next fight as well. And it actually looks like Yukon will be able to come back with six ulties. But then again, SNHU is really close as well. So we might be seeing a ulti for ulti again, just like what happened in Route 66. One will pop, the other will pop. Weezy trying to hold high ground, just really start doing some extra damage. There's the coalescence. There's the iris. They just threw all their ult. There's a Weezy bomb. Huge hammer. Barry destroyed. Hammer down, hitting one. Weezy's in behind. Getting rid of the rally on Klaus. Here comes the push. And now they're pushing them back again. Really want to make sure that Diva gets out of mech. Beautiful. And they just keep pushing him back. Minute 15 left. Clean up crew now. They got the more before ult. Mm -hmm. Their initiation is going to be even harder next time. Absolutely. And you said it right. Yukon used every ulti in that fight right in the beginning. 
Mando kept his composure, ensured that he used trans Transcendence at the right time. Turtle was able to go and block the D.Va. Yes, he got hammered down, but didn't die. And here they go. Another fast fight coming through. Turtle able to get a quick kill. There goes Coalescent. Oh, I'm out of Weezy. There's Nerf from Weezy. Weezy able to kill three! 3k! Killing the Reinhardt. 35 seconds left. One contesting. That's Azaria. Able to kill Azaria a few seconds after everybody else. 30 seconds left. This will be last team fight. They may have to wait for the Zarya, but they will be able to get a 6v6. Looks like the Lucia is not getting the Zarya for them. Looks like they have to go fast now. Put down their Zarya. Hammer down, getting five. We've got a Four. point. Still killing two. Diva trying to just touch point. We got somebody Beautiful on point kills. here. Baby Diva. Baby Diva. He's down. And there's the cleanup crew. And GG's all around. to play the game. This might have been the Transcendence. And it is. Beautiful. Graviton comes in. He just pops Transcendence and jumps right in there. If you're playing Zenyatta and you know that they have a Zarya on the enemy team, definitely know that they're going to be comboing off of it. Save that Transcendence. All right. Just use it when they pop it. Well, that will do it for us for the night. It was quick. That's it. Match three. Two and one overall for the night. I think they did fairly well. It's nice to see over the course of the night um, their ghost play and how their ghost play picks up uh, the speed specifically that they're just like mm -hmm. going straight at people with it. They know the power of the composition, trying to take advantage of it. Absolutely. It all comes down to speed with goats. Who's faster at ensuring that the Reinhardt dies. All right. Well, thank you, Ken, for joining and running some commentary for us. I appreciate it. And thank you, everybody, for uh, coming out and watching. Our next match is Tuesday night. That is going to be in the Varsity League. And I'll tell you who we're playing against in a moment here. I believe it is Malloy College. It is the Mal Malloy Lions, so that'll be Tuesday night at 8 o'clock. Awesome. And we're 1 0 inside of the Varsity League, so that'll be really nice to see. Yep, I'm looking forward to it. All right, thanks again, Ken. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night. You're welcome. Take care, guys.